Hey Dragon Slayers. Today's video is the conclusion of why we get sick. So statistically, you or your loved ones are insulin resistant. And if you or they aren't yet, they may soon be. It is the most common disorder among adults and likely even children in most countries in the world. You might not know it, but if you suspect that you are insulin resistant or fear that you will be, don't wait to make a change. Don't wait until you've gained weight or your blood pressure is climbing or are diagnosed with early stage Alzheimer's disease, PCOS, erectile dysfunction, diabetes, osteoporosis, or so many other diseases. If you're concerned about your family history of any of these chronic diseases, you know you will know you're doing the best to prevent the disease by living a life that keeps insulin low and your body highly insulin sensitive. You need to translate your new knowledge into action. Do something now. So step one, eat better. Change your breakfast tomorrow and every day thereafter. Either fast through breakfast or choose to avoid sugars and refined starches and instead include fats and proteins from real foods. As you can, change other meals also. Step two, get your insulin measured. Most clinics can measure insulin and online blood tests requests are making it easier all the time. If your fasting insulin is above six um, micro units per milliliter, make a change. If your clinician is agreeable, go a step further to measure insulin during an oral glucose tolerance test. Step three, get help. Some share some of the relevant studies mentioned previously uh, to your doctor. He or she may know as little as you did about them. Go further by including family and friends. Teach them what you've learned and how serious the effects of insulin resistance can be, how it develops and what you can do about it. Remember, statistics suggest they may have insulin resistance or soon will. And step four is to stay informed. As a scientist, Dr. Beekman reveals the learning, revels in learning more about insulin resistance through his own and others' experiments and published findings. You can easily keep up with the latest published literature by following him on Twitter at Ben Beekman PhD, Facebook at Benjamin Beekman, and Instagram at Ben Beekman PhD. His hope is that by knowing so many of our chronic disorders share a common origin of insulin resistance, you will feel empowered to make a simple lifestyle change <clears throat> that helps reduce the risk of all of them. Because you can do something, your lifestyle, with your individual strengths and weaknesses, genes and circumstances, it is a big part of what got you where you are, and if done right, can get you to where you want to be. Fight the resistance. <laughs> Insulin resistance, that is. So, my next two videos I'm going to cover Dr. Beekman's daily exercise routine, and further delve into some of his food suggestions. After those two videos, I will also cover my thoughts on why we get sick and give you guys an update on where I am and where I'm headed next. So stay tuned. There's still so much more to come. And don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out. And remember, guys, that together, you and I will slay.
the dreaded diabetes dragon.